All right, guys, it is a wonderful sunny day outside, much like fingers crossed the one we're going to get for the first ever Del Mar Wine and Food Festival, which is coming up in a couple of weeks in the beginning of September. We've got quite the crowd. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks so far, and we want to just keep showing you all the good stuff that you might be able to see out there. So here you are looking at out here on our packed patio at CBS 8 Studios. You are looking at a massive crab. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you're looking at. This is one of the dishes, uh, a, a taste of what you could see once you go there uh, and check it all out. out we got some loud plates today. That's okay though, we're, we're talking about this food here. With me, we've got Troy, David, and Key, all from the Del Mar Run Food Festival. Those plates are loud. Those are really, really loud. Really loud ones. <laughs> There you go, exactly, just like that, just okay. like that. All right, they're dying down there. We got Troy, Key, and David here, uh, uh, the founder of the Del Mar Food and yeah. Wines Festival and some of the guys whose food you might be able to taste out there. Troy, let's start with this. Tell me about the festival and what we got out here today. I mean, the festival is going to be a whole six-day celebration of San Diego culture, right? I mean, and that big, big show is the Grand Tasting. That's the 9th and the 10th, and we get uh, over 100 restaurants, you know, restaurants that I've fallen in love with and I've gotten to know their stories, you know, and, you know, some of my Food Network friends, over 200 wines that are going to be out in the Del Mar our polo fields and just have a massive cookout and a celebration of the city and this was, whole thing was about finding stories like yep. these guys the crab hut this is a family that started crab hut and kingfisher two of the, my favorite restaurants in san diego and we got to sit down and you, you start hearing about their story they started in vietnam in a little in a small little town that had a river and they would catch whatever they could during the day and boil it for among the family you'd eat communally at night and then they moved to the united states they do the same thing in their backyard and that manifested into their first restaurant crab hut over on convoy and this is exactly how you guys eat yes. can you tell me a little bit about this plate what do we got here so on top of the plate here we have the dungeness crab we have snow crabs new new zealand must mussels crawfish uh, snow crab legs and um, shrimp and this is our whole house sauce mm -hmm. and we boil this and we will toss it into this like different spices and uh, you go to town basically <laughs> It is you just go to town with yeah, it, right? You have to wear one of these. Okay, yes, of these. course, of course. I gotta wear one of these. Yeah. I already took the jacket off, so you know I mean business. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put the bib on because I'm wearing a white shirt. It's a safety net. It's it is a safety, a, it is a safety net. net. You know, I didn't bring a backup white shirt today, so you know, if you see a stain, you didn't see one, okay? Yeah. Now she is gonna show. She showed me how to expertly open up a Dungeness crab, Ooh, which is okay. one of the greatest delicacies, delicacies on the planet. Um, she did this in like two seconds. Show okay. me. So this is the apron of the crab. Yep. And you're gonna pop it open. Okay. And then stick your finger in there. Whoops. And and that's it. That's it. And that's oh it. And you got all that beautiful unctuousness, all that, all that meat. Oh. Look at all that color. My goodness. You know, okay. Okay. I'm gonna be this person. Let me see. Wait. wait. Oh, you're gonna okay. get stick your hands. Oh, yeah. No, stick oh, your hands in. That's okay. Just I'm just gonna hand. grab one of these. And you're afraid to right? Taste. So I, guys. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> Puerto Rican food doesn't do a lot of spice. It's just, you know, very flavorful. So this is going to be funny because this is spicy. I right? love this. Okay, this so here we go. This for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I know. And that sauce, that full that house sauce delicious. is like liquid gold mm. over in Convoy. That is a feast. And you eat that with oh your friends goodness. all around. Now, can you tell me about the response from people about this plate and how they like it? Um, people love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is good enough for a family to share. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's and massive. Or a couple. Or a couple, or <laughs> or for one, even. <laughs> Absolutely. David, real quick, tell yep. me about what you got over here. Yeah, so this is just a simple salad of uh, mango mm -hmm. and uh, kohlrabi. And then we call it seafood sauce at the restaurant, but it's just, it's fish sauce, lime juice, sugar, and tons of garlic and chilies. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the, the sauce for um, the salad, and then it just gets a little cured mackerel. And this is going to be served in the VIP tent yes. on the Grand Tasting Got Day. Yes. Kingfisher is one of the best restaurants that arrived in the same same family, mm -hmm. different concept, yep. but absolutely blew away Golden Hill. And wow. these guys have been cooking lights out. So yes. look at that. So we've got the heavy, spicy over here, and a little bit lighter, a little bit more uh, colorful, a little bit, you know, a little bit fresher version on this side over here. But you are broiling the heck out of that fish right there, yeah. David. Tell me how you, you came up smell with this. It. What do you think about all this? Uh, so this is actually just. A, it's based off of a dish that my mom, everything my mom makes yep. um, becomes one of my favorite dishes to eat. And then I just make a kind of lightly elegant version of that at the restaurant. Um, You're a good son. 
the yeah. family yeah. recipes. Yeah, so we love to see my, it. Yeah, my mom used to fry some fish every Sunday, <laughs> and then she makes a little salad of uh, green mango. We love it. Yeah, so now, that's what While that David is. finishes this up here, guys, I want to give you some information on all of this. So this is the first ever Del Mar Food and Wine Festival. It's running from September 6th through 11, but the marquee event is those last two days, the grand tasting uh, on that week right there. Tickets start at about 175 to 225 for the first round around there. I'm just looking um, at my fingers. Yes, you you're right. Going. 175 you for all you going. can eat and drink during the days. <laughs> and this is all happening at the Acre Lawn, eight Acre Lawn at the Surf Sports Park up in Del Mar. For all that information, cbsa.com slash community. Heather, take it away.